In this video, we'll be talking about choosing a style for your garden. So before you actually sit down with a pencil and a paper to sketch out your garden, it might be worth to stop for a minute and think what kind of uh, style you want to actually achieve in your garden. In some gardens, plants and features are just used for the reason to appeal which is amazing, but it's, it is not the way to create an overall design for your garden, which will make your garden to stand out from the others on the street. You should have a rough idea of what you want from your garden before you start designing it. So in this video, I want to talk about different approaches and different styles of gardens. And in this one, we will talk about the formal approach. Formal gardens usually appeal to those with a sense of order, um, to people that like straight lines and very crisp and neat edges. Many traditional suburban gardens, for example, have very uh, formal outline with uh, rectangular lawns and maybe um, very linear uh, herbaceous beds and either, either square or circle beds cut into it. Such rigid designs are usually dictated by um, driveways and pathways around the house and the garden that were done by the builders. The very size and um, the shape of the small gardens usually limits the opportunities of using naturalistic uh, landscapes. So the formal style is usually very popular. Parterres and not gardens usually appeal to those with a sense of garden history. And the effect on small gardens is usually um, just a shadow of what can be achieved on large scale. And those 16th century uh, grand gardens from Italy and France. Parterres are areas consisting of series of shaped beds or compartments that fit together to form a pattern. They often are quite complex on the ground and usually they were designed to be viewed from the upper windows of grand houses. Not gardens were originally designed to be viewed from above as well um, and they're similar but with low growing clipped hedges and they're used to form geometric and often interwoven designs. The space between the hedges can be either filled with um, flowers or more historically correct with colored sands or gravel or even um, crushed coal if black appears to you. These kind of gardens are usually quite expensive to create. They're also very slow to establish and quite um, high on maintenance. And usually they're not very suitable for young families. Herb gardens are quite popular features and much easier to um, create and establish than the knot gardens. And you can find a lot of inspirations for your designs in either old or new books. Rose gardens are very easy to create and they will look good even in its first season. And to provide interest throughout the year, uh, you can plant seasonal bedding around the edges or as well underplant the roses with uh, bulbs for spring and summer and also with maybe um, lower flowering summer bedding plants. Small garden actually almost lends itself to being paved throughout by providing most of the plants in either raised beds or, or containers you reduce the bending when you're taking care of your plants and also you get to appreciate the smaller plants more. You can use climbers to make the most of the vertical space and also a good tip is to um, plant the gaps between the pavings um, with, with something green to make the garden look greener. I know when you live in a city space can be a real premium but you can definitely make your back garden look like an oasis. Uh, by just uh, paving with floor tiles and maybe rendering your walls with bright colors so they reflect the light. You can add interest by adding uh, the sound of running water, add some lush green foliage and perhaps some architectural tree or shrubs. 
although there will be fewer plants, the impact can be huge. A small former garden with a rectangular lawns and perhaps very linear uh, herbaceous beds and rows and flowers are still a very popular options, especially with the gardeners that are looking to grow um, a bigger variety of plants. In this case, the design is not as important as the plants. So I hope this gave you a little bit of idea on how to think about uh, the style of gardens. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like it and also subscribe to my channel. This was Lucia at Last Faces and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.